Hi, my name is Patty Moore. I, uh, I've lived in the Truro area my whole life. My um, husband's name is Darren, and we have two children, Courtney and Josh. I've been affiliated with the People's Church for most of my life, but for a lot of years I, I didn't attend. My Aunt Leona is who welcomed or introduced me to um, the church, and I started coming with my grandmother, um, Edna Mingo, so they've been a huge part of, they were a huge part of me becoming a Christian. Um, so I guess starting back in 2013, I received my first diagnosis of cancer. It was uh, in my mouth, on my hard palate, a lump on the roof of my mouth basically. I, um, I had surgery and I had to have radiation for that. Um, and it, it, it did get cleared up, so all was good with that. But the type of cancer it was, they told me it would return in um, 10 to 15 years. We're at year six now, and I do get regular scans, and things seem to be going well with that one. Um, after that, I've had thyroid cancer twice, so each lobe had to be removed. But luckily, they were caught so early that I didn't need treatments for those. Um, and then this past... July, I get, or a year ago, July, I um, found a lump in my breast, and um, after investigating and and um, advocating for myself, we um, did discover that it was cancer. And so, due to my history of previous cancers, um, we chose the double mastectomy, and I needed the chemo treatments, and I'm now in the midst of my radiation treatments for that cancer. I like to, s I often wonder how people make it through tough times in their life if they don't have faith, if they don't believe in God, if they're not saved, if they don't have a relationship with Jesus, whatever way you want to say it. I, I honestly don't know how they get through. Um, for many years, I didn't follow my faith like I should have. I didn't walk with Jesus. I was saved, but... I kind of let the world around me take over my life in ways that it shouldn't have. So once I got my first diagnosis of cancer, it's almost like it was God telling me you need to smarten up and you need to let me control your life. And I don't want to think or say that God gives us these, these trials in our lives, but we, we have them for some reason. And I feel mine was to bring me back to Jesus and to be an advocate for Him and to try to do my best to show His light in this world. So if it wasn't for God, I don't know where I would be. Um, aside from my own history, my brother passed away kidney cancer when he was 45. My father was diagnosed with prostate cancer just a year ago. Um, and my mom's had breast cancer twice. So the four of us as a family have been through so much and seeing my parents and their faith, getting them through my brother's passing, it has helped me on top of my own ability to trust God and know that His way is the only way and to put all of my faith in Him no matter what the situation is. So yeah, basically, I have no control over my own life anymore. I've completely given it up to God. And without that, I don't know where I would be today. So, that's that. <laughs> I like Isaiah 40, 31. And to rhyme it off the top of my head right now, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> but it basically talks about God's strength if you follow Him. And... He'll give you the wings you need at the time you need them to carry you through what you have to. And that you won't, you won't faint, you won't be weak, you have the strength that you need. Because people will say to me, I don't know how you've dealt with these last six years. And, and all I can say is, it's God that's got me through, it's His strength. Because I have no more strength than any other human. But without God's strength in me, I can't do this, so...